So Wednesday morning, and we got things to talk about. We got big surf along the coast. We've got um, snow in the mountains. Probably see a winter storm warning on Saturday. We'll get rain around here. Uh, there's big tides along the coast, and there's big swell. Um, so we got a lot to talk about. I'll try not to go too long here, but I just want to say that this is Ocean Beach at around 10, 15 this morning, and you can see the swell. Now, first of all, you're going to get a kick out of this, right? Like, you're like, whoa, that's, that's pretty damn big, right? That thing I told you about how when the lip comes over, and when it's right there, when it starts to fall, and it takes a couple counts, one, two, three, to hit the bottom, there's like, that's a big wave. What you'll start to see here in the next couple of days is these waves breaking further and further out, out into the, out into the ocean. The sandbar, as the waves get bigger, they reach deeper underneath and find the sandbars. Um, but I, I would guess that the set, that the size of these waves are 10 to 13 foot on the face, not to discount the Hawaiian measure. Hawaiians would probably call this six to eight. Um, but the swell is west northwest five feet. You're like no, it's not. It's way bigger. Well, it's that thing, it's five feet at 15 seconds. So it's five feet, the lump, and then it's 15 seconds from trough to trough. And at that length, the, fifth, the seconds are everything. Like, wait, there's also, a, there's three swells running. There's a west-northwest, there's a southwest, there's a west. One of the swells is a west at 20 seconds. 20 second interval, that's bigger than 15. And it's only one foot high, but that one foot translate it's not one foot man you got if it was if you were surfing this and there were no other swell but that one feet at 15 or 20 seconds this swell would be over head high chest high overhead not one foot it's four foot or five foot so the intervals everything um we've got three swells running ocean beach very dangerous right now we've got really high tides well let's take a little look i got another beach camera i think yeah, there we go. So again, you can see the rip currents. You can see how unsettled the water is. There are a couple of people out in, in the ocean, which is awesome. But I guarantee you they are well, they are good surfers for sure. Um, the swell direction, like I said, predominantly west. Which way does Ocean Beach face? Kind of faces west. So the swells hit directly on. You can see three people out here. Uh, four, there's another guy out here, a person out here. Um, so, but very dangerous right now. It's as dangerous as it gets. We've had all these problems over the last few weeks in the last month over the late fall, early winter, um, with crab fishermen, boaters, people drinking, falling off cliffs. This scenario right now, nice day, big swell, big tide swing. We're coming up on some king tides. Right now, the tide is dropping about six feet a day. So in the morning, it's, I think the morning is low. No, it's high, pardon me. So it's kind of high at about eight in the morning. This is an average because tides change all along the coast and inside the bay, the timing does. But the tide is pretty high. It's gonna get up into the seven footer range as we go into Saturday, and it's gonna drop down to a minus one. So that's seven feet plus seven minus one. That's eight feet of water that's going to move in and out of the Golden Gate Bridge, down up and down this coast up and down your coast. So the danger is real and it is, I, the ocean, I always say this, I said it the other day, San Francisco's Ocean Beach is the most dangerous beach in the world. And it doesn't, it gets that, it, it's dangerous. It would be one of the most dangerous beaches anywhere if it was not even by an urban center. But it's by an urban center. It is millions of people live within a, within a few minutes drive of this place. And it's very inviting. I yeah, yeah I mean I, I I mean I'm ranting now. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll rant later on. I was gonna talk about all the people I've pulled out. I've pulled six six people out, maybe seven people out from drowning. Four of them were just hypothermic and messed up, and they were fine. Two of them were almost dead. And this is me. I'm one surfer. Everybody I know has pulled people out of the beach at Ocean Beach. Everyone, everyone who's my age who's surfed Ocean Beach has pulled people out, especially back in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Okay, this is Mavericks starting to show that is, you're like, okay, how could Ocean Beach be so big and Mavericks be so not, not looking big at all? Oh, it's gonna look big. It's gonna look big most likely as we get into Friday night into Saturday. But it's just, you know, it's just what it is, man. That, that, when that beast wakes up, which it will on Saturday, it's going to be big. This is this morning. Sorry about the rant on surfing, but I actually worry about you guys. I mean, it's, people are nutty when this is, God, I love this shot. 
people are nutty when they get by the ocean. It's like, um, nah, I don't know what it is, but they don't think it's dangerous. And it's so dangerous. Okay, <laughs> this is, take it from a guy who is almost, I think I've almost, I've all, well, I, I, I used to surf alone a lot. I probably almost drowned twice. I think I almost really almost drowned once where I was passed out. The second time I was like, I mentally was awake, but thought I was gonna drown. And then the rest of the times I've just been scared to death. So that's the um, morning. And now I'm rambling way more than I should. I apologize for that. I wanna see this again, cause I was talking through that fast forward. Boats going out. This is Mount Tamalpais looking towards San Francisco, Ocean Beach, clouds thickening up because tonight, ah, oh, so beautiful. We're in headlands, right? Um, tonight, we're going to see clouds and showers overnight into Thursday morning. The morning commute should be pretty wet. Up in the mountains, they are going to get snow. It's a winter weather advisory. This is a live picture as of 1030 or so. Um, Soda Springs or Castle Peak, they call it. Uh, eastbound 80 coming up on the summit there. And uh, there's snow, but they're going to pick up another foot, maybe foot and a half of snow over the next few days. And more than that, I think that I think we're going to be in a situation where we see, the, I think the storm door has, has opened itself up, which is awesome. Okay, so here's the fog in the Central Valley, kind of existing still. And here is the system. I think you can see that. It's sometimes, but it's coming in. So that's tonight, overnight tonight, into Thursday morning. So that's the satellite. Let's go look at the model. And I'm going to make this easy on you. Got the loop around. I'm going to put the uh, circle around California. I know it must seem like, seem like I'm a coffee addict. I just, my coffee, I don't know if you can see that. I make it so gnarly. Like it's half decaf though. And then half regular leaded peats. But I make it thick and awesome. And I love it that way. And now I can't, and my wife's like has to buy coffee every week because I drink, I have to really pack the, the filters. Okay. So here's the model. This is probably what you've been waiting to see. All the other ranty stuff. You're like, whatever, old man. But on this, we're going to look at the model. This is the GFS. The models have kind of all come together more um, in lockstep. So the timing on these next two systems, tomorrow, tonight, and then again, Thursday, Friday into Saturday is, is much better. In fact, the idea that they're all agreeing. And that's kind of, that's, that's all meteorologists do, is we look at a bunch of models, and then we go, oh, they kind, of, they kind of look the same. Uh, in my experience, this model has done better, and based on the analysis, I see. So that's where the human factor comes into meteorology. And there are, you know, uh, the fishermen, pilots, Mark Finan, who's a meteorologist in Sacramento. There's some, some of them are real good at it, real good at it. And some of them are just looking at the models and showing you what they see. I like to give you the model and then go, Here's here's what here's the I, I, here's what's probably going to happen. The models have a tendency to overpaint, especially the GFS, overpaint over, you know, kind of over overlay down the, the moisture. Whew. Okay, so here we are tonight. This is around yeah, late tonight, early tomorrow morning. So you can see where we are. You see the North Bay getting hit pretty good with rain, quarter inch, half inch. Here we are. Thursday morning early, your morning commute right there. That's your morning commute time and it moves, it's off into the mountains. So this is an overnight event. If you are doing something during the day, this is mid morning, you're gonna have a few scattered showers in the North Bay, but I think you're gonna get away with it. And that means if you're trying to get a golf game in, whatever, the afternoon is going to be not so bad. So that is Thursday afternoon. Now we push forward into Friday this is Friday morning, this is Friday afternoon, and then here we go Friday, Saturday morning early. So it's kind of late Friday, way late Friday night into early Saturday morning, and then there you go. That's around 10 a.m. Saturday. Big, pretty good event, especially for the mountains. So Saturday right now, I'm calling it wet, right? Mountains are going to be snowy. We'll probably see a winter storm warning. I would suspect there's a winter weather advisory now. And then here we are as we go into Sunday morning. So Saturday's kind of a wet day and Sunday doesn't look too bad. And then we get another weak system comes by on Monday afternoon. So you want to look at it again? Okay, let's look at it again. So I don't know, I don't know what your plans are. So this is tonight. Uh, and then into, this is basically tonight. It, the rain's going to be overnight tonight. So here's Thursday morning. Here's Thursday afternoon. 
Okay. Here's Saturday morning. Here's Saturday mid morning. Big rain. And then it moves out pretty quickly. There is Saturday afternoon. And then, then you're into Sunday. So Sunday looks like a pretty nice day. The five day forecast kind of mimics that. Um, appreciate you guys signing up. I appreciate uh, all you guys. I love the questions. And again, I, I'm having fun. Um, I'll do this as long as, long as you're having fun, I'm having fun. So we'll keep doing this as long as you guys want to do it. And if there's only two of you, I'll keep doing it. Because I'm, dude, I'm sitting here anyway. <laughs> okay, take care.